Hey guys, I am backstage at Rising Star, and you killed it again tonight, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Uh, so it was definitely, uh, you know, hard to focus on, do yeah. a lot of emotion stuff going on, but I uh, appreciate that. I tried. <laughs> and you, so you're the only parent left in the competition. Do you feel like there's more pressure on you? Um, I don't know if there's there's more pressure. I think it's. It, I'm gonna say pressure is just. Uh, there's more emotion. I think. I mean, when having those relationships, I don't think there's any deep anything deeper than a, than a, a bond between parent and children. And and so it's, I won't say it's as much pressure. It's just more emotional, if that makes sense. So it's not like. But I do feel an extra bit of emotion, you know, involved with that. So. Okay. And I want to talk to you about Audrey's yoga class because you're not really into that. And you know, actually. Uh, I, you know, I, I've never done yoga before, and when we walked away from that, I actually looked at her. I said, "You know what? I'm thinking I have to give it a try because I really did feel just kind of more relaxed after. That was just for fun, though. All those little things on the side. We, those were actually my idea. I said, "Why don't we do this? I think that'd be really funny, you know." And they were all on board because obviously I don't have the yoga body type currently. Don't mean I won't have it in the future, you know, because I'm have to give it a try. I felt really good about it, so you know, she's awesome too. So. Yoga is supposed to be good for singing too, so there you go. Well, now I'm gonna definitely have to do it. You just put me over the edge. You gotta try it. Gotta get that breast support. I will. I'm gonna have to, you know, credit you for this later. So. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So, what song are you gonna sing next in the competition? Because we've seen like a whole Michael Bolton tonight. Lots of variety. You know, uh, people liked my my Alex Clare rendition last week, so I'm thinking about going something kind of that style again. If we can clear it, keep your eyes open for John Newman, Love Me Again. That'd be really good. Yeah, we're gonna try. I might even throw some blonde streak in my hair there, kind of, you know, as homage. John Newman, clear that song, please. Yeah, John. I mean, come on, dude. Alex Clare did it. Yeah. If Alex did it, you can do it. Boom. Okay, we want to know what's your go-to shower song. My go-to shower song. Yeah. Oh my God, it's embarrassing. I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys. Oh, that's a little embarrassing. It's all right. That though. is. I have to say it though, man. I'm, I'm BSB fans since I was like, I love Backstreet Boys. Come on, bro. I, I'm man enough to admit it and own up to it. Well, that's a man. Yeah, that's a man. Come on. And what's the first song you ever performed live? First song I ever performed live, I cannot remember the name. I mean, outside, I've always sung in church when I was a kid, okay. but I was in fifth grade and it was a choral song at Universal Studios of uh, Florida. And our fifth grade chorus was there and I sung a solo and I don't remember it. I uh, can't remember the word, I just remember it was really, really nervous and a whole lot of fun and uh, I won an award for it, so it was oh, pretty wow. cool too. So, well, come full circle now, look at you now. Yeah, here we are, back again, let's see what happens. Maybe Woo. win another award. Woo! Awesome. Well, good luck, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thank you. It was really good. Guys.